I have three easy steps for you that are guaranteed to improve your gospel study. Today, I'll be talking about the study plans portion of the Gospel Library app. I personally use the study plans to help me with studying conference talks, to help with tracking my study in the Book of Mormon, and to help me remember what other areas I'm focusing my studies on. For this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a study plan to complete the Book of Mormon by August 31st. We'll start by going to the home screen. If you're not already there, click on the home button and then scroll down until you see study plans. Click on that and then in the bottom right corner, click on the blue circle with the plus and it pulls up welcome to study plans and we'll go up here and click on next. The first step is to select the content that you want to focus your study plan on. So there are lots of options to choose from. There are things about the Savior Jesus Christ, their scriptures, general conference, come follow me, handbooks, magazines, gospel topics. There are lots of things that you could choose to focus on. For my study plan, I'm going to choose the scriptures and to study the Book of Mormon. Okay, so our second step is to set up a schedule for our study plan. If we have a schedule and maybe a deadline in mind, that will make this be more successful, right? So I'm going to click this right here to slide that over. And I'm going to choose first how often I want to study the Book of Mormon. And I'm going to say maybe I only want to do it on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I could choose that. Or I could say Mondays and Wednesdays and Fridays. Or I can hit daily right here and it will choose all the days, right? So you can choose what days of the week you want to study. Then you can choose your starting date. I'm going to choose today. And you can select your end date. I'm going to choose August 31st. So I'll come down here, move to August 31st, and now I have my end date set. I can come here and the other thing I can choose is allow chapters to be split. When I choose allow chapters to be split, it makes it so I don't need to read a huge chapter in one day. Okay, so that was step two. Step three, I'm going to click next here. Okay, the third step then is to choose a reminder. A reminder time. This is optional as well. But if I want, I can click that and I can choose what time I want to be reminded and say that 2.46 in the afternoon, that looks great. Or I could go ahead and click on that and change it to a different time. So now I have a reminder set and that is all it takes to have my study plan created. You can review it right here. If you want to go back and change things, you can click the back button. If you want to change the title, you can click the pencil icon right there and you could change the title. And then just click save and now you have created a study plan and it opens up automatically to that study plan here in the study plan it's broken down how much i need to read every day to reach my goal of august 31st of finishing the book of mormon so i can click here on title page of the book of mormon and i can read that and once i'm done with reading that you can see down here at the bottom is a little spot i can put a check and it's marked it as done right there and then I can continue on to the next and do the same and check it off when it's done. If I go back here to the study plans main page, I can see my Book of Mormon study plan is right there. It's at 1%. And I can also click this bell icon right here. If I'm tired of getting reminders, I can check that and it'll make it go turn off the reminders. Or I can click it again and it'll turn reminders back on. On this screen, you can see your current study plans and then you can also see any you have completed. In addition, up here on the menu on the top right, if you click on that, you can click on edit and that will make it so that you can drag different study plans around and change the order. Or you can click on the red circle and delete study plans as well. So there you have it, three easy steps to create your study plan. Select content, set a schedule, add a reminder. If you start actively using study plans, I guarantee your gospel study will improve. Check out these videos for more from Gospel Mom Tech and be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss future videos.